Madam President. The Democratic leader. You know, he was so many things to so many people, a fierce friend to those who were lucky enough to have earned his friendship. You had to earn his friendship. A real thorn in the side of those who earned his scorn, many know that. He was an unofficial ambassador for the United States, a comfort to our allies, an unabashed champion for Western values. He was unafraid to take on presidents. He was unafraid to take on his own party. He was equally parts funny and furious, foul-mouthed and statesmanlike. He could put the temper in temperament. He was a brave and honest man. He was a patriot. John took full advantage of the months since his diagnosis. His hard work continued. But happy reminiscing, fond farewells, final reflections, and time with family actually came to the fore. I was privileged to spend a small share of that time with John. We sat on his back porch in Sedona under the desert sky, replaying old times. John did things his way these last months. For his colleagues here, the time confirmed a sad but obvious truth. The Senate won't be the same without John McCain. In more than 30 years as a senator, he never failed to marshal a razor-sharp wit, a big heart, and of course, a fiery spirit. When John saw an issue the same way you did, you knew you had just found your most stalwart ally. You would thank your lucky stars. Because when you found yourself on the other side of that table, as I think all of us learn, you were in for a different kind of unforgettable experience. Either way, serving alongside John was never a dull affair. So, as we say goodbye to John McCain, let us take up his banner. His was always the good fight. We are fortunate to have known him best in Arizona. But he was bigger than any one state. He always belonged to America and to the world. And now he belongs to the ages. Farewell, Senator. Farewell, John. <laughs>